well, you should be excited for today's vlog because guess what? Today, I'm doing a day in my life vlog. So exciting. I've never done one of these before. It's not like I literally post the nearly the same one, but you guys still like it, so we're gonna do that. So gorgeous. Say hi, vlog. Stop squirming about. Say hi to the vlog. Butchie says hi. I've had so much caffeine that. I don't know. Okay, but. Oh, why are the chickens out? That's kind of cute. The agenda for today's vlog is we're gonna hang out. Me and you are hanging out at home. Um, we're gonna go for a swim. We're gonna feed, I'm gonna feed the horses, get in my bikinis, tan, enjoy the summer's day. It's quite hot outside. It's, get, it's supposed to get sunnier, but it's pretty sunny. Um, then we can make some lunch. Have no idea what we're making for lunch, but it's gonna be good. And that's basically, it basically the plan. Nothing new, nothing crazy, but we're still gonna have fun, all right? Am I gonna push up from my feet? As long as I'm going up and down, like I don't need my elbows at like a 45. I don't need that. I don't, I don't need that, okay? As long as I'm doing it from my feet. <gasps> Holy shit. She always climbs down the ladder, but I just saw it in like the camera and it scared the living shit out of me. just gone for a swim and just relaxing for a bit well actually I haven't really gone for a proper swim yet. I'm gonna do that later but I just cooled down I'm just gonna write in my little journal get some note-taking done I'm just gonna relax out here because it's still summer in Australia and well it's never really winter in Australia I'll be honest I haven't come up here for a while for a vlog isn't it so pretty Kind of, I'm kind of thinking like pasta. Guys, a slight dilemma. Well, it's not really a dilemma, but like, actually, you know what? It is a dilemma. It's a fucking disaster, is what it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Okay. My favorite pasta, the swirly one. There's not enough. That's not gonna. That's not enough for me. I have a huge decision to make. Are we thinking ribbon bow pasta, or are we thinking little shell pasta? I think we need to take a vote. See, because this may not seem like a huge issue. However, this decision will determine my lunch. We're gonna make a pro and cons list, all right? This decision is huge. Pro, con, con. Okay. I've got a whole like graph system going up like this. Okay, beautiful. All right. So a pro for the ribbon is they're fun, you know, they're cool looking. It'll be super fun to eat that, like, that's not that fun. But a con is, see the little bit in the middle? Wait, I need to show you guys. These low-key look dusty. Put that to the con list, dusty. It's probably because no one eats them. But see like the middle center bit is always hard. You know, like the other bit cooks, but that. So I'm just gonna say cooks unevenly. A pro of this one is because they're little like shells, they like the sauce, like they hold the sauce. Like I can like scoop up sauce in them. So I'm just gonna say scoops sauce, like holds the sauce. Okay, another pro is that they cook evenly. The con is they're boring. Okay, well I think that that's all I can come up with. So I think that we're gonna go with the shells. But see, why do I still want to do that even though I know that it's wrong? Even though I know that that's like the dumb decision. It's fucking got dust on it. It's probably like 
so super old because no one ever eats that one, but like I want to eat it because I know that it's wrong. What does that say about me? I think that I've just solved all my issues. This is probably why I only like mean guys. Okay, we're gonna do this one. I feel like it's a bit more fun. The more that I think about it, this is good because no one else in the family likes this pasta, so no one else is gonna eat it except for me. Step one, acquire a pot. Oh my God. It's a bit, it's a bit full. We don't need that. <laughs> Well, while we're waiting for this water to hurry the fuck up, um, I have another really important decision to make. What sauce? We have a lot of unnecessary stuff in this pan. Okay, not unnecessary, but just like, what is this? I could not name one time that I've come into the pantry looking for premium light coconut cream. But then whenever I'm like hungry and I'm like, mom, there's nothing to eat, you know, on the fridge. She's like, Emma, what do you mean? The pantry's full. Emma, the pantry's full. Look, we have sliced beetroot. We've got, we've got bamboo shoots sliced. No, mum. Ribbon pasta is gone. We got pasta sauce. We have uh, la parmesan, Reggiano parmigiana, a la bolognese, a la, a la. So we have this. This is like the really good one. I don't. It's like ridiculously expensive fucking parmesan cheese, but it's worth every penny. Olives, because I need some. I needed something to like spruce up the pasta sauce because otherwise I'm just adding in the tin, and I feel like I need to make it a bit more exciting for you guys. So we're adding olives. Are you excited yet? Okay. Time to grate the palm. My brother made this. Cutting board, by the way, so he's very proud of himself. Loki grating cheese is like a lot. It really takes a lot out of me, but I feel like once you work, you really have to like work for the, the food that's on your plate. It makes it all worth it, you know? Like this pasta is gonna taste so much better rather than just packaged cheese on it, you know? This I had to buy at the shops. And, oh. I had to buy it at the shops. Actually, mum and dad bought it at the shops and I had to get it out of the fridge and then I had to unpackage it and get out the grater and grate it by hand every every stroke, only grating, grating the tiniest little slooflets of cheese to then thus therefore place on my pasta and then I can enjoy. See, it was all worth it. Now I have my little pile of parmesan. And it's gonna make my store-bought pasta and sauce taste a whole lot better. This pasta is taking absolute millennials to cook. Okay, well. You. Oh, there we go. Who needs a man when you are as competent as me? Pasta. Ow. This pasta looks weird as shit. Let's see, I don't know, but taste test time. I'm gonna be honest. Despite my immense efforts to make this pasta look really cool, it doesn't really look like ribbons anymore. They're all broken. I have a feeling because. I have a feeling it might be because the pasta has probably been in that pantry for like half a millennial. That is, okay, there's a couple of big ones. I'll try and get those. Okay, so it looks like this. It's fine, it'll still taste delicious. I'll do a taste test with you guys, but then I'm eating this like by myself because there's no way you guys are watching me eat this whole bowl. I won't allow this to be like a form of entertainment, but okay. I just broke enough. Okay, I understand why no one in the family likes this ribbon pasta. The flavor's good, but these ribbons are just gonna piss me off because I'm not gonna be able to scoop them. Like, and the middle's hard. I should have taken my own advice. Fucking hell. But 
overall, it's not rotten and it's edible and the sauce is good. Despite the ribbons breaking every time I take a forkful and the middle being raw. We're fine.